What's going on, Fight Fans? It's Capital Combat. The name says it all. I'm Rob Jarrell, and I am back at it again, doing a preview video while driving and on the road. I'm trying to cut down on this. This is not something I should be doing, but this is my preview to tonight's Super Flyweight matchup featuring two champions, two of the best in the Super Flyweight division, and to be honest, in my opinion, two future Hall of Famers. And let's be perfectly honest, this is probably one of the better fights of this year. And Juan Francisco Estrada out of Mexico taking on Roman Chocolatito Gonzalez out of Nicaragua. Let's get it started. And I'm going to say this, and you can probably see a shadow, but uh, that's probably best for me and for best for y'all as well. Um, I'm going to call it a travesty. This is a rematch. And it took place in 2012. There is no reason on God's green earth other than some bullshit of the promoters that this fight is finally taking place nine years later. Both these guys have had stellar careers. One was, what, 24? The other one was 21? And I mean, they put on a barn burner. Chocolatito won that fight in a unanimous decision that's actually highly disputed because a lot of people thought that Juan Francisco Estrada won. And to be honest, it could have gone either way. If you haven't watched that fight, please watch it again because it is very entertaining. And both of those guys have suffered losses since then. Uh, Chocolatito has suffered two losses to Sirius uh Estrada suffered a loss to Sarangvasai as well, but he avenged that loss. Um, I'm sorry. Yeah, they both had losses. He had one loss, um, and that was to Sirius Sarangvasai. So mentally, um, he was able to avenge a loss. He has a win over Sarangvasai that Chocolatito didn't. And after Chocolatito's loss, he had a rough time. Uh, his coach had passed away. He was kind of hopping from coach to coach, trying to get in shape, trying to get back to his old self. Of course, HBO stopped broadcasting fights. So there was a lot of changes in his life while Francisco Estrada, um, he was on the upswing. Uh, with that being his best win, then he uh, knocked out Carlos Quadras. So this is going to be a very interesting, very entertaining, a possible fight of the year candidate. Um, and there's going to be quite a few this year because we are starving for fights. Chocolatito, his best win since his loss to Sol Rungvisai has been against uh, Cal Yafai. I think that was two fights ago in which I don't think he was even expected to win. He was the smaller man. He already had his losses. And Yafai was undefeated. The difference was Roma Chocolatito Gonzalez looked more like himself in that fight. He seemed healthier at the weight. Um, he seemed very sharp, very patient. He wasn't the buzzsaw and pure, on pure pressure fighter, but 90% of his top performance is still enough to beat 95% of the guys out there. So let's get into it. In the first fight, uh, Estrada had blazing speed and he was able to reel off a lot of combinations early in the fight cutting a lot of angles using a lot of movement hitting on the run and basically using his hand speed and activity to keep Chocotito's hands at home but the thing about it is while he did land some very solid very telling scoring shots on Chocotito it never deterred Chocotito from moving forward and that's what he does as a fighter he wants to keep moving forward he can use his feet put himself in a position not really one to cut off the ring with his feet, but he does use his right hand to keep from moving laterally to the from the opponent moving laterally to their left to his right. And because he has the ability to throw that right hand, looping, but also shooting it like a jab, it does well in breaking down his opponent, putting that pressure, mental and physical, burning out their legs. And then, as soon as they stop, he can sit down on his punches much better and 
he is just a much more explosive and thudding puncher than Estrada. He showed that versus Jafai. He showed that versus Quadra. And the only reason that he really had a big issue was that with Sarang Vasai was that Sarang Vasai was able to throw such power shots to really move and hurt Chocolatito. I mean, he was definitely the bigger man in that fight. I'm looking for it to be about the same with Estrada settling down, using his hand movements, and being a little bit more economical with his movements. Um, I think he overmoved a little too much, and after the first couple of rounds, Chocolatito was able to get his timing down. Um, he was able to corral him with his left hook and throw a lot of body shots. The only problem is Estrada can do the same, and Estrada can throw shots in, in more numerous combinations at one time. Um, there was a couple of times in that fight, even early and late in that fight, in their uh, first match, that he was able to reel off seven and eight punch combinations with maybe three or four landing, which is a pretty high clip if you're throwing those combinations. His best bet is to get Chocolatito to keep his hands home and keep him from getting off. But unfortunately, if he's going to move the same like he did in that fight and not use his upper body movement to make Chocolatito miss, it's going to look a lot of the same. Chocolatito on the hand, his legs have looked better as of late. Um, and still applying applying that pressure. It could be age. It could be the damage from Sorunga side. It could be his new coach. He's still moving forward, but he's not lunging as much. He's setting. And a lot of times in his fight, he would lunge. He would be more explosive, but he'd throw himself off a spot where he'd have to throw his right hand step with his right foot then come around with the left in another step now it landed on a lot of guys because he was able to land that lead right but with this one with Estrada he just can't do that because Estrada moves he can't just shoot the right hand all the time look for a lot of good body work and look for a lot of upper body movement from Estrada I think he's settled into in a good place um, where he can avoid punches instead of trying to outpunch his opponent. And he's hitting a little bit harder over the last several fights. He knocked out Dwayne Beeman. He knocked out Carlos Quadras. And I think he knocked out one other opponent. And I'm sorry if I can't remember off the top of my head. But he did knock him out. And look for him to use a lot more upper body movement. A lot more economical ring generalship to keep from burning out his legs too early because Chocolatito is going to come on and it's going to happen in the middle rounds and once he gets ahead of steam it takes a lot to discourage him from throwing those punches and from moving forward you saw that in the first fight you saw that in the Yafai fight you've you seen that in the um, I think the Gonzalez fight you even saw that in the Quala, uh, Quadras fight even Quadras who throws a hell of a lot of punches he still ended up landing a lot more a lot more thudding shots and burning him out as time wore on and even though Quad just made it a, um, a close fight he really didn't have the firepower to deal with Chocolatito same with Estrada he had the speed advantage he had the combination advantage and I think he's has a little bit more versatility in his punch output but Chocolatito the pressure the explosiveness the ability to throw those uh thudding shots upstairs and downstairs and sit on those punches and he's quite patient both of the guys are patient but he's going to look for a shot and once his lead right hand breaks the defense then he starts reeling off the combinations whereas Estrada is going to throw those punches and bunches anyway um, I'm really looking forward to this fight I think you all should too let us know what you think are you looking forward to this fight as well let us know in the comments down below. Hit us up at Facebook, Capital Combat, same at Instagram. And you can email email us at Gmail. Um, just a note, Sirius Cat Sarangasai is fighting this weekend, but it's on Telefy. So if you can find that foreign broadcast or hit the YouTube um, search bar and maybe post it for us if I can't find it, please do that because I think he, he's going to put on an entertaining fight as well. He has never really put on a boring fight. Uh, that's all I got for you guys today. And until next time, fight on.